Hey Will, I'm about to do a story time. What story should I tell them? Oh. Okay, before we start this video, let's go ask some people if they think I'm awkward or nerdy or just weird. Gippy, am I awkward or weird? Oh. Okay. Do you think I'm awkward or weird? You're weird. I wouldn't say awkward. Do my feet and hands sweat? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, so you're awkward. Yeah, okay. Don't touch me. Alright, you're short. Wow, the lighting in this room is not bad at all. Not too shabby at all. As you guys can tell, I am in the room where we keep all the boxes we haven't bo unboxed it yet. This is also where we are keeping Henry. Everyone in the house thinks that we should get rid of Henry. Well, I'm the only one who wants to keep Henry and I want to put him in my room, but I can't figure out an arrangement for my room to make it work. So what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna organize this room and keep him in here. I've been watering him and keeping him alive. He's a really good friend of mine and I refuse to get rid of him. And apparently they can live for a really long time. So I'm trying to like see if I could have him live with me for like the next 10 years. So he's like another guppy, like a little friend. Okay, I get awkward. And I talk too fast, and sometimes I put on this fake persona. And sometimes I just get really, really, really awkward. When in reality, if we were to meet in person, I guarantee I wouldn't be as awkward. I probably would be like a little bit awkward, but not as awkward. And that basically comes from the fact that I used to be a short, chubby nerd who didn't have any friends and liked math a lot. Yeah. If you were with me when I first started this channel, I used to do videos like this, but story time videos have never been my forte, and that's just because unless I have something scripted or unless I have a point or some sort of challenge or something that I'm doing specifically, I, I don't really do it. But one of my friends, Ronnie, was like, you should do a story time because you have a bunch of stories and you have an interesting life, and it's okay to do like one of these more personal videos every once in a while. See, now my hands are starting to sweat. And if you guys watched our live stream off the top, it's on twitch.tv slash Ron the Giant. We do this improv show with a bunch of my friends and uh, my feet get sweaty. The joke of the stream is to not show my feet because they're disgusting and sweaty. Why, why was I making this video again? Oh, how I used to be. I used to eat lunches by myself in the library. The librarian was one of my best friends. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I was just the awkward kid who, um, like, if I was in a scenario where people laughed, I would, uh, like, laugh. But it was more of just the to fit in kind of laugh, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but for some reason, my to fit in laugh never really worked out so well and ended up causing people to be like, are you okay? Kind of thing. Man, I feel so awkward doing this story time, Ronnie. You said this was gonna be easier. Junior year of high school is when I, I guess you would call glowed up. I went from being short and chubby to tall and um, jawline-ish and started looking more like this. If you guys go back to my first Instagram picture, it's a picture of a hat on the floor. I was so awkward that I was too nervous to post a picture of myself for my first picture, so I posted a picture of a hat. It was like a beanie in, in the middle of the corner of the floor. So just so you guys know, just because I got tall and glowed up a little bit, the confidence didn't help whatsoever. But I used to like have such a big issue as far as just socializing and communicating with people. It was pretty bad. I actually have moments in my life where I cried in class. Either it was in math class where I was doing a great problem on the board and people started laughing in the background and I thought they were laughing at me. So like all these different things started popping in my head. I was like, oh no, do I smell bad? Did I draw something weird? Did I say something stupid? Did I do something dumb? Even though I consider myself really good at math, just because I didn't socialize, I spent so much time on my homework and studying and making sure that if I can't succeed, at making friends, then maybe I can succeed at making good grades. I saw this commercial one time and they were like, even if you don't have friends now, if you're successful in life, that friends will come, which isn't really a good motto to live by because do you really want friends who are there because they're successful? You know what I mean? So I used to work at the hospital and I used to work at the pharmacy. And in those environments, you have to be pretty confident in yourself because you have patients coming in looking for help and they can't come in looking for help from someone who's like, in, like not strong. 
I guess so that's probably where I learned how to be confident and learned how to believe in myself I will say the motto fake it until you make it that actually might have some truth behind it because if you're willing to just Believe that you're that amazing person if you wake up every morning and tell yourself I am the best I am an amazing person and you do that for long enough You're gonna start believing it and you're gonna start showing it honestly I'm not sure what the point of this story time was, but to tell you guys that if you're feeling awkward and secure, if you relate to me whatsoever during my awkward stage, and don't get me wrong, I'm still very awkward and my feet are very sweaty right now, but I promise things will get better. Um, you'll meet people who can relate to you, people who wanna help support you, encourage you to do amazing things, encourage you to follow your dreams. I know it sounds hard and I know you've probably heard this a lot, but I promise you, things are going to get better. In my case, I got tall and I got really awkward and I know there's probably gonna be someone out there who's like, you're not that tall, 6'4 is not that tall, I'm 6'7, you know what? The 6'7 person, if you're out there, we are like a very small percentage of the population who are this tall. So, you're taller than me, but I'm still considered pretty tall. I mean, everyone out there in the comment section below, let me know how tall you are, unless you don't want to, you don't have to, or you could just say, you're tall, it doesn't matter. The, the point is, is that there are problems that come with being short and there are problems that come with being tall. And I just had a really good idea for a sketch and I think I'm just gonna have to find a short friend and we're gonna do a tall versus short video. I am so sorry to my editor right now because I have no idea what I'm giving you to work with, but hopefully you've got this. Or I'm not gonna say his name, but we're gonna call him K. I am aiming to get two videos a week for the rest of this year. K knows that already. We're trying to get like Wednesday and Saturday is the optimal goal, but as you guys can tell, this video came out on Sunday. So what I'm doing is this week, I'm collabing with a bunch of YouTubers. If you have any YouTubers that you guys wanna see me collab with, let me know. If you see someone else, comment the person you were thinking of, comment someone else along with that person. Just comment as many people as possible. I've already, Got a couple collabs scheduled so far, but I'm looking to collab with a lot more people, especially people I don't know. I just wanna get a bunch of content to where I can be on a consistent schedule. But you guys can help me out by letting me know who you guys think I should collab with. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, sorry for the short video, but I hope you got some sort of help out of it. Maybe a little encouragement, maybe a little bravery, maybe a smile or a, wow, he's awkward kind of feeling that some people find funny. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell and let me know how you think I did on the story time in the comment section below. And I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>